You can now see how any jacket, shirt, pants, or hat look on you using Google's new AI app. Google just dropped Doppel, which is an AI app that lets you try on any piece of clothing by just uploading a picture of yourself and the item of cloth. Hi guys, my name is Omri from AI Academy, and today I'll be going over Doppel, how to use it, and what it does. So let's real quick look at the announcement from Google. Basically, it says that Doppel is an app that lets you try on any look and explore any style. As you can see, basically, it's showing that you can try on any style on any picture of you and change your outfit just by using using AI and keeping your look the same. So basically they have instructions on how to set it up. Just download it, screenshots a bunch of outfits to your camera roll and use the app. So what we're gonna do now is just test it out and see how good it is, if it's good at all and show you guys exactly how to use it. So first thing we wanna do is look up Doppel either on our app store or Google Play Store. Then we'll download it right here. Once our app is downloaded, we wanna open it and log in with our Google account. Once we log in with our Google account, the first thing we'll be greeted with is their terms and policy so let's get going we can now set up our body double so basically what we want to do is take a picture as you can see a person is standing up straight in a white background so that's kind of the optimal position for your picture so basically just make sure the picture has your full body a bright light just you in the picture so nobody else and then a natural pose with no hat so let's add our photo i took a very simple photo that's not the best just to kind of try out if the ai can figure it out on its own but now it's making my dog apparently cool so we have our first look and they have a bunch of different outfits to pre-pick just to test it out let's see what we want to choose we can find one that we like let's choose this one and see what happens so after i clicked it basically it says getting your look ready and it says this will take about 30 seconds so now it's loading up my look with the different outfit so what i'm assuming will happen is it will have my picture and just me wearing the other outfit but the same picture so let's see what ended up happening cool so you can now see that it changed my outfit and this looks pretty much like me i think maybe it did some changes to the face obviously the picture is a little bit blurry because i took it on iphone not the highest settings but it did pretty well in changing the outfit so i kind of guess that it's pretty accurate on what this outfit would look like now they also have an animate button so it says want movement add animation to see how an outfit might look in motion so let's go and see what it looks like and as you can see there's a little loading bar on the bottom so it's generating right now but also i took a bunch of screenshots online from different websites to see that outfits from different websites work and not just their default outfits. So let's real quick see what the animation looked like and test out the capabilities of this app. So I refreshed and here is the animation. It is kind of freaky. It's not bad actually, but this is, it does what it says it will. So basically this is what the clothes would look like in motion. It kept pretty much all the details of me the same. The face looks pretty much the same. The AirPod in the ear looks pretty much the same. The arms are the same size. It looks exactly like me just with that outfit that's kind of creepy but anyways now for the real test is using outfits from other websites in order to change it onto ourselves so let's try that out in order to do that we'll press the plus button press try a look so it's time to try on tops bottoms or dresses you've noticed online i'm not wearing dresses but let's try it from a screenshot so try a look from a screenshot pro tips here are a few guidelines to make it easy to try on an outfit you noticed so let's go through their screenshot guide so we got to look for a full outfit on a model so i have a couple screenshots like that we can also look for a full outfit in a studio so that also works if it's just the outfits so just the piece of clothing without a model it says to not upload any screenshots with multiple subjects at a time because obviously there's multiple outfits you can't really try them all at once and currently it does not support accessories which is totally fine but we can see how it does with the outfits i selected okay so i selected a hoodie for this outfit it's a very simple hoodie let's see what it ends up doing with it and i have some more complicated outfits just to see what the limits of the app are so let's try out this hoodie one first and go to the next one. So this is the screenshot of the hoodie that I took. I'm assuming that if I cropped it in better, it'll probably do better. But this is basically just a screenshot. And this is what the app came up with. So it kept all the little stains on the hoodie the same exact way that they are. And maybe it missed a little bit on the arm. But overall, this is still pretty good. This is probably what I would look like with the hoodie. So now let's test out a harder outfit. Now for the best results, what we want to do is make sure that we crop into our sub object in the example images as close as possible just so the AI is able to scan the image better and replace our clothing so let's try this one real quick so this next outfit is a little bit more complicated it has fur on it and multiple pieces of clothing so again this is the original outfit we have our jacket right here with denim it has a bunch of buttons in the middle and it has two pockets it has open sleeves and a little bit of an opening here on the jacket and the fur right here the jeans is a little bit washed out and 
oversized. So let's slide over. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job. You know, it maintained the two pockets and it maintained the color of the jeans. And yeah, this is again, what I would look like wearing this outfit. Okay. Onto our next outfit. This is it off of the Nike website. And as you can see, the t-shirt has a lot of complications and it is on top of a jacket. And the model is wearing Nike shoes with socks that are half up. So there's a lot of little details that if the AI is really good, it'll be able to get, but if it's not good, it won't be able to get these. So if you can see the little basketball players in the background of this image on the shirt, that will be something that we should look out for in the image generation. And then let's see what the Doppel app can do for us. Now, while that's generating, here's our final outfit. This one is a lot more complicated than all the other ones because of how many lines there are and how many little details there are in the outfit. We'll be trying this one next. So let's see what the previous outfit looks like on me. Okay. So kind of crazy. It did get a lot of the details in the background of the shirt. I think since the model was standing sideways, it didn't really get the right side correct because there's just a black space there. Another thing I noticed is that it didn't do these socks or these shoes because I guess no accessories. So it just won't do that. It got the pants pretty spot on with the pockets and the folds within them. And then it also something that I noticed that it missed was the ends of the sleeves. They're just one color, but in our original picture, there's a little bit of a stripe right here. So that's something it missed, but that's a super small detail. That's very hard to tell. And let's go on to our final outfit. This one, I don't know if it'll be able to get, but let's just try it. So now I'm uploading the last outfit with the crazy colors and we're going to test out if this one works or not. So I had a feeling that it would be a lot harder for the app to be able to get this one right because of how many lines there are, the colors and the shapes of them are very unique. And it's something that's a little bit harder to train the AIs on because they're just all over the place. It did get most of the colors right. It got the shape of the jacket right and the white striping around the jacket. It did get each part that was with color in the right spots, but you know, the colors are a little bit off. I'm assuming that this is pretty much what the outfit will look like on me just with these colors. So other than the colors and some of the shapes that are on the actual jacket itself, it pretty much got it. Let's try the animate feature on this one. So let's real quick try to see what it looks like if I'm moving around. Okay. So for this one with the animate feature, something seems a little bit off the back of the jacket is probably not how it actually looks like. But when it comes to the material of the jacket and the pants and the colors of them and these shapes, like the stripes and stuff, it got it pretty accurately. And I guess this is what it would look like or feel like when I have this outfit on if I end up buying it. So basically the purpose of this app is just to let you try on clothes before you buy them just by uploading screenshots. And I'd say it works as good as it should be. So yeah, overall, this app is pretty good. You now know how to use it. You know the capabilities of it. You can now try on anything you want on your own body. I highly recommend downloading this app on the App Store or Google Play Store. And yeah, if you want to see any more AI tutorials or AI videos from me or the other hosts, please comment down below what tutorials you'd want to see. And I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.